So, you know, in 75, we became part of the part of Tampa. It, it was, they were part of us, we were part of them, and, uh, and we, they rep represented us and we represented them, and that's the way we felt. We felt that we had an obligation to the city and to, to the culture of the town. And so, you know, it was, it was easy to stay around because of the love and the respect that we got in town. We had a responsibility to introduce the game into Tampa and to represent Tampa. So we knew that. Being, being a, obviously a Tampa Bay Rowdy, you know, was special. I mean, you know, you were recognized in the community. The fans, there was a lot of support. I came here when I was 18, and it was something that, you know, I just thought, you know what, you know, this is where I want to live. This is where I want to be. And then you can honestly, I can honestly say that just not, you know, myself, but there's probably 10, 15, 20 other players that not only stayed here, but also continued to put, to grow the game in this community. And it's a, it's a gift. It's like those, those guys that came before us said, if you're going to be a Tampa Rowdy, um, you're going to be a part of this community and you're going to probably want to live here forever. You're younger and you get those appearance sheets on your seat. And you're like, oh my goodness, I got to go out in the community and coach this evening. When you're young, it's, it's, a, it's a burden. It feels like, shoot, I got to go out. But then every time I got out there, I feel like that's where I thrived the most. I loved being with youth. I loved that they looked up to the Rowdies and they wanted to be Rowdies one day. And you know, here I am making a career at Skycrest Christian School. I'm still connected to the Rowdies and still connected to youth soccer in the Tampa Bay area. And I've always considered that to be my, uh, my journey, that you know, to, to get people to love the game, to get people, players to, to respect it and to be proud about playing the game of soccer uh, is, is what I do. And uh, you know, it, it brings me great joy. It, I look at young kids and I think that that's, uh, that I'm making a difference in their lives. We're doing this 75-10, it's, it, you know, I think that we need this, we need this, and we need to do more of that. Because I know there's some, you know, some of the former players that are willing to get involved, even as ambassadors, but you need to grow the game in the community. You need to be out there, okay? And again, these, these present players here, they're understanding that. It's, it's what makes soccer the special game. Uh, and it's what makes uh, players that, that play it and wear the same shirt and wear the same badge, uh, you know, connected because that's, that's, it's not the game. The game just allows you to create all these other uh, relationships and, 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 and traditions and, and, and culture and, and belief that you're, doing, you're playing something different. Because I think that if you don't connect 75 to the present, you're just playing soccer.